you know, there are three kinds of aces. Greatest threats to a fighter jet I can think of. Why is Pixie better than me? <laughs> What's happening? Wrecked by an eagle in the Tiger 2. Come on. I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't think it was this. Following Galm's decoy mission at the round table, the Ozean 3rd naval fleet managed to infiltrate Belkan occupied territory in the south, joining Ustio coalition forces. These allied forces are to launch a campaign named Offensive Campaign No. 4101. Rolls off the tongue and everything. The campaign has the objective of clearing out Belkan forces from the Futuru Canal, securing a sea transit lane for the Allied forces. Galm team can choose which of the three consecutive operations comprising the campaign they wish to participate in. Of course I'm gonna show you all three, so I guess that last point isn't really that relevant. First up, Operation Galnikos. Galm is sent to the southern entrance of the canal to destroy Belka's air squadron, port facilities and surface weapons, allowing the naval fleet to advance through it. Oh, we have a typhoon. We well, would have. Oh, Jesus, we're way off budget on that one. <laughs> the shtick of this operation? Radar is jammed. Surprisingly, the jammers are actually on the ground this time. There are these tiny little things here. So, as always, just be careful not to crash into the ground. Well, okay, yeah, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here. You're also getting some targets. No need to leech free drinks from your buddy. You're coming head on. There you go. Make my job easier. It would be pretty funny if that was actually the best way to dogfight in this game, wouldn't it? Next up, Operation Round Hammer. Galm is sent to the northern end of the canal to secure an exit for the Ozean fleet by destroying port facilities as well as the Belkan fleet stationed there. Good news, might have been struggling for cash in the mercenary playthrough, but the soldier one is a different story. Which doesn't make a lot of sense now that I think about it. Bada bing bada boom. New aircraft everybody. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I am doing three simultaneous playthroughs on each of the A styles. I really hope I don't fuck up the save and load process. Not much to say about this operation either. I guess start by selectively taking out the port facilities. This will get rid of two barracks. Those guys can consider themselves lucky. You won't get a missile today. I gotta say, I do like the whole dynamic of keeping the A style in soldier. It forces you to keep track of what you destroy while still paying attention to your surroundings. That was a very close call. It's a fun challenge, I dig it. Although Eagle Eye is a bit more concerned about the results. Yeah, calm down. I mean, it's fucking barracks, dude. Chill. <laughs> oh, hang on. What do we have here? Battle of the Hornets, huh? Well, that was easy enough. <laughs> yep, I think I'm getting the hang of how dogfighting works in this game. To be honest, it is very thematic, this aerial jousting. All that's left are the ships, which is exactly why I brought the Hornet. You get a missile, you get a missile. Everybody gets a fucking missile. Okay, now you're just taking a, a piss, I mean, come on. I can't leave all of you standing. Jeez. Lastly, Operation Costner. Galm is sent to directly escort the Ozean 3rd fleet, which includes a familiar state-of-the-art aircraft carrier as they cross the canal. Oh, look at the Kestrel. Well, that brings back memories. You only need to protect the fleet from enemy fighters, so I guess you can let the dogs off the leash, literally. Well, okay. Thanks. Dude, I swear, you say Pixie to disperse and he just starts wrecking everyone. It's really weird. <laughs> Look at him. Jeez. Ah, don't worry about it, Pixie. There's still a few more years to go before that happens.
In preparation for the liberation of Ustio's capital, the Rectus, Allied forces will deploy airborne troops in a surprise attack over Solis Ortus, a mountain town located near the capital. Galm needs to support the troops by destroying Belka's surface-to-air defenses and interceptor aircraft. Be aware of civilians still inside Solis Ortus. Your actions will determine their fate. Well, it's a good thing I'm playing in the Mercenary A style then. It's nothing personal, I promise. <laughs> Go get oh damn. That really is a go get him. Oh Jesus fucking Christ man. This controller man. I need to check what the fuck is wrong with this controller. Sure, blame the controller, John. Eh, as long as it stays as grazing the ground and not actually crashing, I suppose it doesn't really matter, right? Remember what I said about the aerial jousting? If there were still any doubts, allow me to present you with some compelling evidence. Another head-on pass. I mean... <laughs> These guys kind of make it easy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the pretty decent technique I have going on here. <laughs> oh no you don't. Get back here, please. Jeez. Okay, sorry man. Like I said, nothing personal. Gotta keep it consistent, Cypher did just destroy some civilian tents, so... <laughs> Preparations are complete, it is time to regain control of Ustio's capital. Directors has five administrative wards, where the Balkans have placed powerful weapons. Destruction of all enemy forces means liberation for Ustio, so Galm is sent to annihilate all Balkan forces in the city. I think they need to reevaluate their definition of powerful weapons. I'm only seeing one, and it's flying a Mirage. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, look at that church. We need to go check that out. That's a weirdly, like, detailed church. Looks pretty nice. <laughs> sure, there's a war going on, but when are we coming back to the Rectus? Might as well do some sightseeing and enjoy the local architecture while we're here. Is this the guy that's bugging you? Oh no! Anyway, with the war secured, the Rectus has been liberated. Of course they are. <laughs> a bit late to the party. Gelb team is a duo of SU-37s commonly assigned to the southern defense line. Given their flawless and synchronized flying style, they became known as the coupled cormorants. This could be tough. Great. Terminators. That's what I fucking need. Oh, okay. <laughs> you didn't put up much of a fight, did you? Oop, that's a missile. That was incredibly disappointing. <laughs> Those guys, they... <laughs> they came late and they got wiped out in under a minute. Well, I suppose their reputation didn't really precede them. Or the jousting is just too OP in this game, I don't know. In 2005, Thompson interviews Rainer Altman, also known as Gelb 2. The man was shot down in the skies above Ustio's capital, but decided to settle there, where he's still traumatized by that dogfight. Turns out, they had just finished the mission before being sent to the Rectus, which explains why they got there so late. Not that it would have mattered, I think the outcome would be the same regardless. The never-ending sound of the missile alerts 
put fear in my heart for the first time. You're not the only one, Altman. That's a feeling every Ace Combat fan knows too well. Back in 95, the liberation of Directors marks a turning point in the war. The Allied forces gain the upper hand over the Balkans, but no one is really sure who's the hero and who's the villain. But as we say in Portuguese, the Allies might be, quite literally, entre espada e a parede. 